Good morning everyone. My name is Natalie May Anlige. Our topic for today is process of mitosis and meiosis. What is mitosis? Mitosis is a process where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells or cell division. During mitosis, one cell divides once to form two identical cells. Mitosis is divided into five phases. Interphase. The DNA in the cell is copied in preparation for cell division. This results in two identical full sets of chromosomes. Outside of the nucleus are two centrosomes, each containing a pair of centrioles. This structure are critical for the process of cell division. During interphase, microtubules extend from these centrosomes. Prophase, the chromosomes condense into X-shaped structure that can be easily seen under a microscope. Each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids containing identical genetic information. The chromosomes pair up so that two copies of chromosomes are together with both copies of chromosomes are together and so on. At the end of the prophase, the membrane around the nucleus in the cell dissolves away, releasing the chromosomes. Metaphase The chromosomes line up neatly and to end along the centre of the cell. The centrioles are now at the opposite poles of the cell with the mitotic spindle fibers extending from them. The mitotic spindles fibers attach to each of the sister chromatids. Anaphase. The sister chromatids are then pulled apart by the mitotic spindle which pulls one chromatid to one pole and the other chromatid to the opposite pole. Telophase. At each pole of the cell, a full set of chromosomes gather together. A membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to create new nuclei. The single cell then pitches in the middle to form separate daughter cells, each containing a full set of chromosomes within a nucleus. This process is known as cytokinesis. This is the example of um, five stages of mitosis. So now we'll go to the meiosis. What is meiosis? Meiosis is a process where a single cell divides twice to produce cells containing half the original amount of genetic information. These cells are our sex cells, is sperm, in males, egg in females. During meiosis, one cell divides twice to form four daughter cells. These four daughter cells only have the number of chromosomes of the parent cells. They are haploid. Meiosis produces our sex cells or gametes, eggs in females and sperm in males. Meiosis can be divided into nine stages. These are divided between the first time the cell divides, meiosis 1, and the second time it divides, the meiosis 2. Meiosis 1. Interface. The DNA in the cell is copied, resulting in two identical full sets of chromosomes. Outside of the nucleus are two chromosomes, each containing a part of centrioles. These structures are critical for the process of cell division. During interphase, microtubules extend from these centrosomes. Prophase 1. The copied chromosomes condense into X-shaped structures that can be easily seen under microscope. Each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids containing identical genetic information. The chromosomes pair up so that both copies of chromosomes 1 are together, both copies of chromosomes 2 are together, and so on. Metaphase 1. The chromosome pairs line up next to each other along center of the cell. 
The centrioles are now at opposite poles of the cells with the meiotic spindle extending from them. The meiotic spindle fibers attach to one chromosome of each pair. Anaphase 1. The pair of chromosomes are then pulled apart by the meiotic spindle, which pulls one chromosome to one pole of the cell and the other chromosome to the opposite pole. In meiosis 1, the sister chromatids stay together. This is different to what happened to meiosis and mitosis. Telophase 1 and cytokinesis. The chromosomes complete their move to the opposite poles of the cell. At each pole of the cell, a full set of chromosomes gather together. A membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to create two nuclei. The single cell then pitches in the middle to form two separate daughter cells, each containing a full set of chromosomes within a nucleus. This process is known as cytokinesis. Now we'll go to the meiosis too. Prophase 2. Now there are two daughter cells, each with 23 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromatids. In each of the daughter cells of chromosomes condense again into visible egg-shaped structure that can be easily seen under a microscope. The membrane around the nucleus in each daughter cell dissolves away releasing the chromosomes. Metaphase 2. In each of the daughter cells are chromosomes, pair of scissor chromatids line up end to end along the equator of the, cent of the cell. The centrioles are now opposite poles in each of the daughter cells. Meiotic spindles, fibers of each pole of the cell, cell attach to each of the sister chromatids. Anaphase 2. The sister chromatids are now then pulled to opposite poles due to the action of meiotic spindle. The separate chromatids are now individual chromosomes. Telophase 2 and, the cyc and cytokinesis. The chromosomes complete their move to the opposite poles of the cell. At each pole of the cell, a full set of chromosomes gather together. A membrane form around each set of chromosomes to create a new two new cell nuclei. This is the last phase of meiosis. However, cell division is not complete with another round of cytokinesis. Once, cytokin Once cytokinesis is complete, there are four granddaughter cells, each with half a set of chromosome or haploid. In males, these four cells are all sperm cells. In female, one of the cells is an egg cell, while the other three are polar bodies, small cells that do not develop into eggs. This is the example, a picture of meiosis, the meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2.